What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Cunningham Garage. I'm Steve. As you can see by my awesome new shirt. Uh, yeah, on this episode, uh, I broke the jet ski. I kind of blew it up a little bit. It can, it can be fixed, but it's a little blown up. Just, just a little bit. Uh, let me show you guys what's going on. So what's going on today, guys, is those right there. As you all know, if you haven't seen my jet ski yet, this is my jet ski scooter. It's a 250cc scooter that I built into a drivable jet ski. It's pretty cool. It's a lot of fun. Gets a ton of attention. Well, let me explain what's going on. This, it is a liquid cooled 250 and that's the radiator out of this thing. It's, it's so adorable. It's so tiny, but uh, it, it's quite broken. Let me explain what's going on. I already got a new one. That was not easy to find. So, I was riding this like a, like a week or so ago. Went out on the road. Went to Toyota to pick up some parts for something else. That'll be, that'll be another video. Uh, but, went to go pick up parts on this. Because I thought, why not? It's fun. It's a nice day. And drove it all the way there. Picked up the parts. Drove all the way home. Parked in the driveway, everything was fine. Came back out to jump on back on it and go somewhere else. And underneath it was a giant puddle of coolant. It, the radiator let go after I parked it at home. It wasn't leaking or anything, but it just, the tank, the tank let go. So that's why this, the coolant pipe is still on it because I was able to refill it and it's leaking on the tank right here somewhere the tank let go on it so yeah so this this radiator is uh no good so the next step is to i need to remove this remove this temperature switch and install the new this stuff onto the brand new radiator and then it will be back on the road and i can actually make a video for you guys of actually riding it around that way you can see how it rides. I can give you a tour of, you know, I'll go right around downtown Knoxville. <laughs> but I'm gonna put some lights under this and we'll lean it on its side and I'll show you guys where the radiator sits and how much of a pain in the ass it is. So here's the new radiator. So as you can see, I got the, uh, the old fan put on it and I put in the temperature switch from the old radiator it was in good shape everything seems okay with it well it lives yeah uh, see those two little brackets sticking out hang on ignore the wiring hanging but these two brackets the radiator sits right between there so i need to squeeze that back in its home right up in here so you can see the radiator hose hanging down and Here's the other one. Yeah. It's the, it's a tight fit. And yep, it's all chopped up inside. I got so much stuff to clean out of this thing. <laughs> there's there's the water pump. I gotta look how nasty that is. I gotta get a wire brush and clean all this. For the most part, the water that came out of it was pretty clean, but that was just I don't think it's been taken apart since it was new in 2008 or 10 can't remember so yep I'm gonna go ahead and install it I'm gonna clean that and reinstall the radiator and I'll show you what it looks like bolted in it's another day I've got some garbage laying on the jet ski uh, radiator is in I'll show you what it kind of looks like from the top I know that's a water bottle you see don't mind that there is a, that's basically the, that line is for the overflow for the radiator. Well, the overflow is way up under there where it's, you know, you can't access it. It's a really old water bottle, like a, a little jug that came with the scooter. I hate it. So I unplugged the line, just stuck it in that for the moment. And what I'm going to do is take this line and I think I'm going to wrap it through the body and then have it come out right here. And I think I'm going to have like an old beer, like a glass bottle, like a whiskey bottle or something and mount, make a mount right there. 
and make that the overflow. So tell me what you guys think about that. I'm, I'm really leaning towards that or I might just get a replacement overflow bottle and put it back the way it was. But let me see if I can, uh... hey, there we go. So the radiator's down in there. I gotta clean up that wiring, I know. So uh, the radiator is in. I'm also trying to get a new filter so there's no filter on the bike right now. Radiator cap is on, it's full of coolant. I know that's nasty looking, but that's that's not what's actually really in it. That's just something else. Uh, I just, that's all I had at the moment. I didn't want coolant flowing all over everything. But that's it, the, woo, the bike is back together. Me, uh, I'll switch it on for you guys. running great and there's my gauges so since I've had the bike together I put 1,100 miles on it exactly so and I changed out the uh, temperature gauge so there was a little temperature switch right there right there and that was to that temperature gauge. It wasn't working properly because I had the scooter one on there, so I just replaced that. Let me shut this off. I had the scooter sensor on there and it wasn't, they weren't playing together. So I had to change. While I had this apart, I went ahead and changed that sensor and it's been good so far. So the next problem is my center tail light here is got some LEDs that are dying, so I'm gonna pull the strip out and I might replace it with this LED I have. It's pretty cool. So I've got two of them. We'll see. We'll see how that works out. But I'm gonna try and shoot a video real quick. Not today, maybe this weekend. Uh, I'm gonna get a selfie stick and go out for a ride on it and uh, talk to you guys. Let you guys see how it rides and you can actually see the reactions of other people it's freaking hilarious i get stopped every time i ride this thing people make me pull over so they can talk to me about it so that's it the radiator is in it the radiator going in wasn't that bad um you know it, it squeezes in there put the hoses on there it took a day because the hose clamps that were on it were garbage so I had to go out and get new hose clamps. So that's why I had to wait till another day. So that's it guys. Jet ski is kind of back together. I got to fix the tail lights and uh, that's about it. Sorry about the noise from the fan. I'll talk up a little. It's really hot in here. So if you guys like everything you've seen so far, I know this was a little bit jumbly because uh, I wasn't expecting to have the issues I had with this. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, if you're not a subscriber, welcome. Stick around, hit that subscribe button. My videos, I swear they're gonna get better. Uh, I know a lot of people don't care. They're just kind of watching it and hello. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm gonna take this thing out. We're gonna have some fun and you guys can ask questions about it if you want. And on the next video, like I said, I'm gonna try and ride it around and have a little fun. So thank you for watching.